Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Gomer Plays Undertale. Holy shit, that's been way too long since I've worked on this series. Um, and, oh wow, has, what was it, like October, November that I last worked on this? <laughs> oh, we're at the Hotlands outside the lab. Oh dear, what's down here, I wonder? Oh, hi. Tra-la-la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. Ah, I like that. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Right in the boat? Eh, sure. Where will we go today? Snowden or Waterfall? I'll go to Snowden. Because I think I missed something <laughs> before. Um, full disclosure, I have had like certain things spoiled for me, certain things mentioned to me, all that good stuff. But uh, nothing major. Beware of the man who came from the other world. Oh dear. That's, not, that's kind of ominous. Huh. Now, will I be able to use you to get back? Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. Okay. Yay, Snowden. Now, I think... I think I had set up at one point a date with Papyrus. So let's go do that. What? Hi! So you came back to have a date with me! <laughs> and immediately, my Papyrus voice is going to be... going to be used. <laughs> oh... Becky is going to be so thrilled. Yeah, she is She is self-proclaimed Undertale trash now, by the way. Mm. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Your home? Here we go. Hi, guys. Where are we going? Um, My house! We were right there. We were literally right there. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Okay. The joke book. Take a look. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. What the fuck? You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. Uh, you decide to stop. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. There's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. <coughs> wow. It's been a while since I've done his voice extensively. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> oh, kitchen. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> I think I know which side of the fridge Sans has and which side Papyrus has. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What the fuck? What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sands! Oh my god! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> you can... This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. It, it. it It's a rock. You don't feed a rock. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Fuck yeah, sprinkles. Uh, couch? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. Jing, 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 jing. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 G. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> That's what some people say about certain Doctor Who episodes. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Your bone? Oh, lordy. <laughs> uh, hold on. Oh, 
Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Yeah, something happened on my end. Basically, um, my sound suddenly just went woof. Uh, hopefully it doesn't affect it for you guys, but... That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and... Do whatever people do when they date? Um... <laughs> go inside? Not yet. I want to go to Sans' room. Sans! The door is locked. Of course it is. What's he doing in there? Is he summoning demons from the undead or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finish looking around. We could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Sure. Why not? Hi. Oh, wow. So, um... If you... What, what, what? If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Dating start. Dating start. What the fuck? Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating HUD. Okay. C. Tuesday. Reel it in. Pop. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, I feel so informed. <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. <coughs> really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Um... Wait a second. Well, clothing? Those glasses on your face. Hey, hey wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, how are you able to see that? You're not using my webcam, are you? Yeah, yeah. Those who have never seen me in person, um, I normally wear glasses. You're wearing clothing right now. Yes, I am. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. Partially. I, I was shirtless earlier. No, could it be? You wanted a date from the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better than d at dating than I am. Well. Your dating power! Oh, wow. What? Hmm? <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Wait. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. You've never done this before. I can easily keep up with you. Okay, then. You see, I too can wear clothing. You already are. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. It's a, it's, it's an S&M gear, isn't it? Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh, wow. What do you think of my secret style? <laughs> I do like it. No! A genuine compliment! That's a good thing, though, Papyrus. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. What? I like the outfit. I like how it looks. It looks like you know, your shoulders look like basketballs. That's kind of cool. The state won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Um... I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart? Uh, <laughs> but who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing article articles can be improved this way. So, okay, what about your shorts? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Your legs are bones. What about shoes? Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. <laughs> but your face. 
My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. It's more going for your face, but okay. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Sure. Do you know what this is? It looks like spaghetti. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? How do you know this? Right, but also wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it is time to end this. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. Nom. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Oh shit. Taste is indescribable. Oh shit. What a passionate expression. I don't think I like it. You must really love my cooking. Papyrus? You. You. And by extension, me! Oh shit. Well, well okay. Uh, okay. Your cooking may not be very well, but you're pretty cool. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! <clears throat> no! What the fuck? <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. No, but my well, no, not even my girlfriend, because she she's a she is a um uh oh 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 fishwife basically. Let's let's leave it at that. I forget her name right off, but I'll get back to it. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Uh, maybe. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. Are you going to Care Bear stare me? It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> well, it is a little warm. I mean, my room retains some, some heat whenever I do this. Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Uh, that's okay. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. Uh, that happens to the best of us. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. You have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper <coughs> into your intense love for me. Look at his face. <laughs> I love that face. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. You're doing fine. Shh, just, just roll with it. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. Uh-oh. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. Okay. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Okay. Because I don't even have lips. No, you don't. You're, you're a skeleton monster thing. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, Papyrus takes my my Papyrus voice takes it out of me a little bit. Um. Da -da -da -da. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Woot. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I got his number. Yay. What else can we do? Look in the closet? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. What's up? What else is here? Hey, cool. Action figures of many sexy robots. Sexy robots? Uh-oh. Bookshelf is filled with comple complex tomes about puzzle creation. And children's books. <laughs> it's a beat-up pirate flag. Cool. It's a race car bed. Neatly made. Oh. Hey, a computer. Maybe I can get word out here. Open to a social media site. Oh, of course it is. 
box of bones. Because, naturally. Hey, Sans! What's up, my man? Locked. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess we're done here. <clears throat> wow. Ah. Uh, so, that that happened? <laughs> oh, and maybe my papyrus voice can take a little bit of a rest. And by the way, Undyne is the name I was thinking before anybody comments. Tra-la-la, -la, care for a ride? Sure, let's go. Let's go back to Hotland. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Um, that's a kitty boat. Tremmy Village, the room before the darkening lantern room. Da 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 da. That that's that's a kitty boat. Okay. Come again sometime. Tra la la. All right. So. With determination. Ah. So how about you guys? Hi. How you doing? Dot dot dot. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. I totally reflect inflected that wrong. That's okay, let's go check out the... Hi. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, cool. It's you? <laughs> oh, it's too dark to see near the walls. I'm not looking near the walls. It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going. Hmm. Oh! Hi. Ah, bright light! Hi. <clears throat> oh, my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered! I'm barely dressed! It's all messy and... Um... Who are you? Um, uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Ascor's royal scientist. Alphys, okay. I've, I've heard a few things about her. Like the fact that Alphys is a female. <laughs> I've heard a few things. But, 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 ah, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, I've been observing your journey through my console. Oh, that's, not, that's why I always felt like I was being watched. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen on a screen really makes you root for them. Oh, good. It's a good thing I wasn't going a genocide route. <clears throat> so, so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. I, 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 I'm probably really screwing up her voice for many people, but I apologize. Actually, um. It's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Entertainment robot. Maybe it's just my mind, but I can see where that is going. <clears throat> uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. TV star. Again, note where my mind likes to go. <clears throat> anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. How? You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, the size of his- SHUT YOUR MOUTH! <laughs> like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? Oh shit. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? Oh god! Oh god, Alphys, how did- how? How? <laughs> uh, but, um, hopefully we won't run into him? He's gonna pop in just a moment, isn't he? Yep. Uh-oh. Did you hear something? Here, I felt it. And saw it, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit. <clears throat> oh no! Hi. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the fuck? To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Um, what? Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple! There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or what? Or you die! I knew that was coming. <coughs> but it on attacks. Okay. Holy shit. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Okay, I'm not going to attack him anyway. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Haha, <laughs> you wish! Wrong! Oh, wow. Ah, screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Um, I know his first name is Ascor, so yay! Okay. Let's see if I can't spare him yet. Enough about you! Let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Um, hopes and dreams. Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? I had to, that, well, that has to be metal and magic, because, you know, we're in, we're in the underground, and he's made of metal, and there's magic here. Makes sense. Spare. Uh, here's another easy one for you. <clears throat> Two trains to anybody. What, what the fuck? Uh, oh. Oh, I just noticed Alpha's giving me the answer. <laughs> Count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? There we go. So, Alphys is there helping me. Okay. Let's play memory game! Uh-oh. What monster is this? Oh, that's the um, froggit. No, that's a froggit. Wah! You tricky bastard! But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> All of them are the same answer. <laughs> Here's a simple one. <clears throat> How many letters in the name Metaton? Mm... Of course that was easy for you. You kept Okay, you kept increasing the number count. Time to break out the big guns. Oh, shit. It's Mimi's favorite food. Oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... <laughs> oh, Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? I say nothing. Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? I know this one. Undyne. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. <laughs> Even a human figured it out. Okay, uh, that was spoiled for me a little bit. Mm. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. Oh my. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. <coughs> wow. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. So, it's still 100%. Oh, well, well. With Dr. Alpha's helping you, the show is no dramatic tension. Well, I didn't notice until like the second or third question. We can't go on like this. But, but... This was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Oh, shit. Until next time, darlings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that, that was certainly uh, something. Oh, don't be... Uh -huh. now, that last question. He, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Okay, let's see where he went. Can I? The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. I'm only a few feet wide. 
It's a bathroom sign. Okay. Wait, wait. Let me give you my b f phone number. But then, maybe, if you need help, I could... <clears throat> Where, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Well, wait a second. Please. Okay. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I am so doing her voice all sorts of wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> dot, dot, dot. I'm going to the bathroom. Um, okay. You do that. Scientific books seem very dusty. Sure. Look inside a book. Uh, it's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Sailor Moon? No. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. And in future generations, they're not going to know what either one of those are. But that's cool. They're all labeled Human History. <clears throat> Let's see, we'll have this one. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging imagined energy pancakes at each other. <laughs> this doesn't strike you as very accurate. Nope. All these books are labeled human history. It's a comic book. Hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. What is this? Pink goop. Hmm. Oh. Looks like Alphys's work table. Seems dusty. Wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Oh. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Cube. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into ex to an extremely easy to draw. <laughs> well, that works. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Whee! Okay. So with the light on, let's see what this half-empty bag of dog food. Of course it is. Fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. I'll leave it. She might need them. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Be the figuring of a he female human with cat ears. She is an anime otaku. Seems to be notes of something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... Hey, why does the game have a walkthrough for itself in here? Let's go this way. Hmm. I just realized I didn't watch fight Undying Fight the Human. Oh! So Alphys didn't watch Undying Fight Me. Oh, but well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. You just met the human. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Well, I know what's coming. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Ah, hi. Vulcan strolls in. What do we have? Well, Vulcan, it's doing a great job. It attacks become... Oh, shit. Does my best. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, hi. Is it me or those, those look like... I'm sparing you. Okay. Well then, that was new. Gonna call them in a minute. Uh-oh. Thanks for sharing. Uh, status updates. Social media. Don't you love it? Wee! Conveyor belts are fun! I like the music, too. Oh, here we go. Save point. Whooshing sound of semen cogs. It fills you with determination. Yay! All right, and that comes up to about the 30-minute mark here, uh, as I like to pull on each of these videos. <laughs> uh, it's been a little bit, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to get back into the swing of things for a little bit here. Um, I'll have some kind of an update vlog or something, hopefully, alongside this. Um, but for those who are who have been wondering where I have been the past couple of months, uh, I've been on the road. I've, I've got another driving job, which slows these down tremendously. Um wanted to put that at the beginning of the video, but I just wanted to get back into this so quickly. 
Oh. But, uh, at any rate, yeah, and, and even my timer goes off. I put, I put you on vibrate. But that's okay. So, uh, at any rate, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.